Hi boys and girls. Welcome back for a new chapter book this week. You know after we've read Matt four Magic Treehouse books and Jack and Annie have solved the mystery for Morgan Le Fay that I always read a new chapter book the following week. This character you know and it is Junie B. Jones. And the title of this book is Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day by Barbara Park and illustrated by Denise Brunkus. I like her first name. And Field Day is an event that usually takes place the last day or two of school. And Mr. Miller will be talking to you a little bit about Field Day in the next couple of weeks and how you can participate in one at home. So, that being said, let me start Chapter 1. Chapter 1 is called Ch Chatting. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B and that's all. This morning I woke up very excited because today we are having kindergarten field day at my school. That's why. I couldn't stop shouting that happy news. Field day! Today is field day! I shouted to my dog named Tickle. Then I quick ran into my baby brother's room. He was sleeping in his crib. Field day! Today is field day! I shouted to baby Ollie. He woke up very fast and he started screaming his entire head off. Mother came running right in. Junie B. Jones, for goodness sake, what has gotten into you this morning? I looked at that woman real curious. Field day, I said. Field day has gotten into me, Mother. How could you even forget this important occasion? I have been talking about it all week, remember? Field day is when room nine goes against room eight, and we have different races and stuff. Ollie kept on screaming. Could you please quiet him down? I asked my mother. He is taking the edge off my very good mood today. She picked him up and started patting him. Thank goodness field day is finally here, she said. Maybe now we will be able to talk about something else for a change. I danced all around that woman. We will, mother. We will be able to talk about something else. After field day is over, we'll be able to talk about how room nine creamed room eight. Ha! I jumped up and down. You're coming to watch me, right? And Daddy's coming too, right? Because Room 9 is going to win all the races probably. So we will need lots of clapping and cheering. Mother ruffled my hair. Don't worry. We'll be there, she said. I think Grandpa and Grandma Miller might come too. Hooray, I shouted. Hooray for the whole family. After that, I ran out of the room and I called my bestest friend Grace on the phone. And wait till you hear this. I didn't even have to look up her number in the phone book because I finally got it memorized right in my head. Its name is 555-5555. And that's a hard number to remember, I tell you, because I kept forgetting the five. I pressed the numbers very carefully. Hello, said a voice. I did a frown. Grace, what's wrong with your voice? How come you don't sound like yourself? Do you have a froggy in your throat? <gasps> All of a sudden I did a gasp. Oh no, Grace, you didn't catch a cold, did you? You can't be sick today, Grace. Today is field day and you are the fastest runner in kindergarten. Go tell your daddy that you have to come to school, Grace. Go tell him right now. Go, go, go. Just then the voice talked again. This is Grace's daddy, it said. I looked at that phone. Oh, I said, hello, Mr. Grace. No wonder you don't sound quite right, because you're not even Grace, that's why. And so where is she anyway? Pretty soon, that Grace said hello. Grace, Grace, it's me. It's Junie B. Jones. I am so glad to hear your voice. You're not sick, are you, Grace? You're still coming to field day, right? Grace giggled real loud. Of course I'm coming to field day, silly, she said. I have to come to field day. Remember, I'm the fastest runner in kindergarten. I did another frown at that phone. Okay, here's the thing, Grace. You're not actually supposed to brag about yourself like that. My Grandpa Miller said it's called tooting your own horn. Have you heard that before? And it's not even polite. That Grace did a huffy breath at me. I'm not tooting my horn, Junie B. I'm just saying the truth. We have lots of slow runners in our class, you know. Like Lucille won't, won't run fast because she doesn't like getting sweaty. And 
You're not exactly speedy yourself, Junie B. Well, I sucked my cheeks in at that girl. Yeah, so, I said. So, I'm going to have to give us a big lead, she said, because I'm the only fast one we have. Now I just made a grouchy face at that phone. You just tooted again, Grace, I said. Did not, she said. Did too, I said. Did not, did too. And then my mother called me. Okie dokie, I've got to go now, Grace. See ya, friend, I said. See ya, friend, she said. After that, we both hanged up, and I skipped to my breakfast very happy. Because a nice conversation always starts your day off just right. Chapter 2 is called C-A-P-T-A-I-N. Hmm. Cap. That spells captain. That day at school, room nine was very excited. We kept laughing and jumping and giggling and shouting. Me and my bestest friends, Grace and Lucille, run and skipped all over the room because we had to warm up our muscles for field day, that's why. All of a sudden, my teacher hollered our names. Lucille, Junie B, Grace, take your seats right now. We stopped real fast. My teacher's name is Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. and that's all. Yes, but we need to keep on skipping. I said, because Grace said we have to warm up our muscles for field day. If you don't warm up our muscles, your legs will get clams. Clamps, said Lucille. Cramps, said Grace. Mrs. smiled just a little bit. You girls will have plenty of time to warm up outside, she said. But right now, we have an important job to do. Right now, we are going to pick a captain for our field day team. Just then, everyone got excited all over again. A boy named Meanie Jim waved his hand in the teacher's face. Me, 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 pick me, pick me, pick me. I will make a great captain. No, no, pick me, pick me, shouted another boy named Polly Alla Puffer. I will be better than him. No, no, pick me, pick me. I'm the fastest runner in all of kindergarten, hollered Grace. Mrs. sat down in her chair. She crossed her arms and she waited for all the yelling to stop. Hmm, have you ever seen that? I hurried to her desk speedy quick. Mrs., Mrs., guess what? I did not shout just then, I said. Did you hear me, huh? Did you hear me shouting at all? I was the only one in the whole room who wasn't shouting, I believe. I pulled at her sleeve. Maybe you should reward me for that behavior, I said. Huh, missus, what do you think? Maybe you should make me Captain Field Day, because that would teach the other children a good lesson, I think. Huh, probably? Missus stood up. She walked me back to my table and she pointed a finger at me. Sit, she said. Stay, she said. After that, she went back to her desk and she held up a little basket. Boys and girls, please listen carefully. In this basket, I have 16 folded pieces of paper. 15 of the slips are blank. But one of the papers has the word captain printed on it. Whoever picks that one will be the captain of our field day team. After that, Mrs. carried the basket around the room. She stopped at every table and she let all the children pick a paper. Keep your papers folded until everyone has chosen one, she said. We'll all open our papers together. My stomach felt nervous and jumpy inside because I didn't want anybody else to pick the, the paper with the word captain on it, of course. When Mrs. got to my table, my heart was pumping very much. She held up the basket for me to pick. I reached in very carefully and I dug and I dug and I dug. I dug all around there. Mrs. started tapping her foot. 
Please, Junie B, just pick one, she said. Oh yeah, I don't think my fingers have quite touched the right one yet, I said. I'm waiting to get the right vibes. Vibes, said Mrs. It's short for vibrations. Whatever, I said, and I kept digging and digging around some more. For the love of Pete, said Mrs., just pick one. After that, I quick picked a teeny paper from the basket. Then I waited at my seat very patient until all the rest of the children picked two. Mrs. smiled. Okay, everyone, when I count to three, you may open your papers. One, two, three. I opened mine and I did a gasp because guess what? I saw letters, that's why. Mrs. Mrs. Look, my paper has letters on it and I think, I think it's the word captain. I think it says captain. I zoomed to the front of the room to show her and guess what? She said I was right. I skipped around the room. Hooray, hooray, hooray. I am it, people. I am Captain Field Day. After that, I laughed and danced and clapped and clapped and clapped. Only do you know what else? No one else clapped with me. And that's the end of chapter two. Come back for chapter three. That's called Capes and Lightning. Tune back again soon for Junie B. Jones' Captain Field Day by Barbara Park.